hi to the forum out there. Um, and hi, this is the uh, Planet Earth here. And I want to talk today about hitting potholes and why I dislike New Jersey so much and why we're probably leaving New Jersey soon. Um, when you take somebody in a ride and you drive them, drop them off at their destination, I have probably hit at least 200 potholes, many potholes, by the time I'm done dropping that person off. So instead of replacing the sway bar links every maybe on a good state, in a good state, assuming you don't get into any car crashes, you don't hit any animals, you don't hit anything at all, and you take good care of your car and replace parts immediately when before as they're breaking. You you should at least get ten to fifteen years of sway bar links. They should be fine for ten to fifteen years. However, the state of New Jersey, which this is the OEM sway bar link that came with the car, this was in mint condition. No, um, there was nothing wrong with the sway bar link when I came to New Jersey. There was nothing wrong with the sway bar link. There had nothing been wrong with the suspension on the vehicle at all. New Jersey doesn't care about your car. New Jersey doesn't care about your life. New Jersey doesn't care about anything to do with you or as you as a human being. They don't care about the roads. They don't care to fix the roads. They don't care to care about anything but themselves and their greedy ass motherfucking money. They don't give a fuck about anybody else but themselves and that's kind of why I miss Texas. That's why I miss Texas because in Texas we don't we don't do that shit. You don't for the most part Texas roads are very for the most part they're not potholeish as much. They they may be kind of, you know, where they got the oil slicks and they got the oil, you know, where they fill it up with oil or it looks like oil but it's not on the roads where they where they repave the cracks because of the heat. That's still not potholes like New Jersey. In Florida, the roads are beautiful. I mean, there's like, I think the only road that I had an issue with was an off-road when I went off-roading with the car. But the sway bar links never broke because I was going very slow over those. And uh, never had an issue going in the middle of nowhere in the middle of Florida or had a flat tire. Weird, right? Never had a flat tire until... Uh, found out our landlord was putting um, nails in our tires. So, never had a flat tire though, when driving in Florida. Never had any issues with uh, suspension problems in Florida because the roads are actually decent shaped. Because they fix them. Because it doesn't snow. The ice doesn't ruin the roads. It doesn't freeze and refreeze all the time. That is just an excuse because there is some areas that I have been to that even through in the coldest and the warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, like in Ohio, for example, where it gets cold, warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, the roads, for the most part, like Interstate 70, is a very highly 18-water trafficked freeway. You never see any potholes on Interstate 70. It is very well maintained. But... Just because Jersey has a big port and Jersey City and they, they don't fix the roads, they don't seem to give a shit about anybody, and people park on the roads, they just don't give a shit. They don't give a fuck. They, they don't care about anybody. They don't care about your car. So this sway bar link was in mint condition. It, it had very little play on it when I first came to Jersey because when I took the car apart, I asked them to check the sway bar links. So they took it off and they played with it and it had very little play. Now because of these potholes, this is the re I hate potholes so much now. I hate hearing them every 10 seconds when I'm driving around here. I, I hate it because none of these roads are smooth until you start getting into the very rich areas of New Jersey. You hear this pa, pa, ka clank, ka clank, ka clank. So these are two, two, two sway bar links. These are two sway bar links. And within a month, they're broken. This one, though, this one lasts a long time. This is an OEM part. And, you know, this is an OEM fucking part. They didn't break very easily. 
It took forever to break it. Now look at it. You see? Broken. Loose. Clanking. You're going to clank. It's going to clank. If it's like that, it's going to clank. Look at this. Look at this. This one was a month old and it was a $50 part. And look. I don't know if it'll zoom in on that. Probably. Oh, yeah, it did. In one month, it broke. In one fucking month. So, obviously, clank. Clank, 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 clank. Imagine going down the road and hearing these things clanking constantly because they broke because of the potholes. I shouldn't have had to worry about replacing this till at least 200,000 miles. I shouldn't have had to replace this one until at least 230 to 240,000 miles. Or never. I mean, they should be on there till they're fucking rusty as hell, but no. New Jersey doesn't give a shit about your car. They don't care about you. They don't care about your car. New York, same thing. Staten Island is really bad with those potholes. They don't give a shit about your car. I don't know why they don't care to, to make New York look nice. I don't know why. I don't care. I, I mean, I don't understand why New Jersey doesn't fix their fucking roads. What is that shit? Why don't they care? Is what I'm trying to get at. So, this is what the most common things that break in, in, in New Jersey, and especially Newark, which I'm not driving there anymore. Um, the most common thing to break in, in, in New Jersey is uh, your, your car is going to be sway bar links, ball joints. That's the most common thing that breaks. Uncommon things that break but can break are your control arms. And your shocks, but it can happen depending on how you hit the pothole, where you hit the pothole at, how the tire responds, etc. It could ruin your tire, it could ruin your suspension, and cost you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. Damn! It costs you hundreds of dollars. It, costs, it might even cost you a thousand dollars, but you gotta shop around though, because you gotta find you gotta find a you gotta find a reputable mechanic. You can't just go to one mechanic, because one might charge you a thousand, the other might charge you one hundred dollars. Oh, I think those are thunderclouds. Look at that. New Jersey. But anyways. Um, yeah, so if you live in northern New Jersey, you feel the pain of these sway bar links. And the clanking that goes with them. So I've, I've come to a head here saying that I will never, ever, ever drive um, rough in... I will never drive in New Jersey, uh, Newark or Jersey City. Again, unless I drop somebody off, but I'm going to tell them, hey, I'm going to be a little bit slower than normal because I don't want to have to pay to fix these again. So, it's not worth the damage to your car to drive. If you live in Newark, I feel so bad for you. I, I really, if you have a car in Newark, you have a brand new ride or something, and, and you're just, I just, I just feel bad for you guys because it's just nobody gives a shit about the roads here. If they gave a shit about the roads... This would still be in mint condition, and this one would be even in better condition, but, I mean, just look at the damage. Just, it's just sad. It, it's sad. Nobody cares about it, and these people, they hunk over here in Jersey too much, by the way. They hunk too much. Um, other than that, though, thank you guys for watching. This has just been a, a rant video. And it's just uh, ridiculous. It's just, it's just sad. It's just sad and nobody does anything about it. The, the governor doesn't do anything about it. They don't care. The, the, the cities, the, the municipalities, they just don't give a shit. They would rather take expense. And this is one of the most expensive tax states in the country. And they don't use that money for the roads. And I don't care about the amount of traffic that comes through here. They should be able to fix the fucking roads. I don't care about the traffic. I don't care about the amount of traffic. They should be able to fix the road still. And they don't.